Hello class, welcome to the Minute Math YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button below and share our videos. You can also find great math content and links to all of our videos at www.minutemathtutor.com. All right now, enjoy the lesson. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about multiplying decimals and find each product. So, if I was given these decimals, negative 5.5 times a negative 4.87, Okay. Now, the one thing I want to look at these two, um, I ignore the negatives for f at the right now. Okay, I just deal with the positive numbers, and I'll deal with the negative. Yeah. So I'm going to use my traditional method here, and I have I'm going to put 4.87 up top, and 5.5 down here. Okay. All right. Now. What we want to do is just multiply like we do anything else. Imagine it's just 487 times 55. 5 times 7 is 35, so we have 5 here, carry the 3. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 3 is 43, 3 carry the 4. 5 times 4 is 20, plus that 4 is 24. Okay? We now have a place value for the 0. We're going to x out our previous numbers that were up top there, and a zero for the first one down, so now we use the second five. Five times seven, again, is thirty-five. Five carry the three. Five times eight is forty, plus three is forty-three. Three carry the four. Five times that four is twenty, plus another four is twenty-four. So we have twenty-four, and now we add these two numbers together. Five plus zero, five. 3 plus 5 is 8, 4 plus 3 is 7, 2 plus 4 is 6, and 2 plus nothing is 2. Now we had a total, right, or here of 26,785. That's not our final answer, right? It wouldn't make sense. A number bigger than 5, just bigger than 5, or halfway, 5.5 times a number close to 5 isn't that large. Right, so we look at the decimals. We have how many decimal places total? One, two, and three. Right, so we have one, two, three. Right there, there's where our new decimal place should be. So we have 26.785. Now we have to look now at the negatives. A negative times a negative is always a positive. So we have a positive here, just to confirm. So our final answer is positive 26.785. So quick recap, we're given negative 5.5 times negative 4.87. Well, I imagine the negatives were gone, and I multiplied them together, okay? And I kind of just treated it, the decimals weren't there. I got this large number, but then I had to add back the decimal. Three decimal places total, three decimal places total, and then we know a negative times a negative was a positive, so our final answer with all of that was 26.785. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, the creator of Minute Math. And if you like this video, please hit the like button that's right there. If you have a mathematical question, just add it to the comment section below. And lastly, if you want to see more videos just like this one, hit subscribe. It's right there. But as always, thanks for watching.